Hey, good morning. Uh, Psalm 46, 1 through 3 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. You know, it's that time of year again. It's hurricane season. Um, like so many others, I have a somewhat morbid fascination with hurricanes. Kind of always have since I was a teenager. Uh, I suppose if I lived in a more vulnerable place along the coast, Florida, Louisiana, uh, might have more angst, but I don't. I know they're destructive and people can lose everything in a hurricane, even their lives, but I can't help my fascination with them. Currently, there are three areas of interest. There is Hurricane Danielle, <laughs> how ironic, and two areas of development called invests that may turn into tropical storms or hurricanes. None are expected to uh, affect the coastal U.S. However, as many in Virginia and North Carolina know, we haven't gotten past the I storm yet. It's Ian this year. And the I storm has historically caused problems for us. Just look up Isabel, Ivan, Irene. So watch out. You know, I don't really know why I'm interested in storms that can cause so much heartache and ruin. But I, I suppose it's the same reason that people watch the violence on the evening TV news or slow down and rubberneck when passing a crash. Maybe it's something within us where we recognize that someone has suffered a life-threatening event and we're aware that it wasn't us. We escaped harm. The storm hit, but it didn't hurt us. The warnings were given, but people still didn't evacuate. But in a sense, that's what God's word does for us. He offers a means of escape from the threat of sin. He warns of the coming storm of judgment. He calls us to extend his offer of salvation to get his message out. A spiritual hurricane is in the forecast and there are people in harm's way. And I'm not supposed to just sit and watch. I've been given a call to action. So have you. Let's not just sit and watch the storm come. Let's see who can be saved from the storm. Pray with me. Lord, we know what your word says is coming. I confess, far too often, I'm sitting and watching rather than getting the call out, letting people know, doing what you did, seeking to save that which was lost. So Lord, help us to share your message, to warn of the coming storm, to let people know that there is a way to escape what's coming through Jesus, our Savior in whose name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.